Intuitively, completeness implies that there are not any gaps or missing points in the real number line. This contrasts with the rational numbers, whose corresponding number line has a gap at each irrational value. In the decimal number system, completeness is equivalent to the statement that any infinite string of decimal digits is actually a decimal representation for some real number. Depending on the construction of the real numbers used, completeness may take the form of an axiom, or may be a theorem proven from the construction. There are many equivalent forms of completeness, the most prominent being Dedekind completeness and Cauchy completeness. Forms of completeness The real numbers can be defined synthetically as an ordered field satisfying some version of the completeness axiom. Different versions of this axiom are all equivalent in the sense that in any ordered field that satisfies one form of completeness satisfies all of them, apart from Cauchy completeness which is strictly weaker in that there are non-Archimedean fields that are ordered and Cauchy complete. When the real numbers are instead constructed using a model, completeness becomes a theorem or collection of theorems. Least upper bound property The least upper bound property states that every non-empty set of real numbers having an upper bound must have a least upper bound in the set of real numbers. The rational number line Q does not have the least upper bound property. An example is the subset of rational numbers this set has an upper bound. However, this set has no least upper bound in Q. The least upper bound as a subset of the rails would be, but it does not exist in Q. For any upper bound x Q, there is another upper bound y Q with y less than x. The least upper bound property can be generalized to the setting of partially ordered sets. See completeness. Dedekind completeness See Dedekind completeness for more general concepts bearing this name. Dedekind completeness is the property that every Dedekind cut of the real numbers is generated by a real number. In a synthetic approach to the real numbers, this is the version of completeness that is most often included as an axiom. The rational number lined Q is not Dedekind complete. An example is the Dedekind cut L does not have a maximum and R does not have a minimum, so this cut is not generated by a rational number. There is a construction of the real numbers based on the idea of using Dedekind cuts of rational numbers to name real numbers, e.g., the cut described above would name. If one were to repeat the construction with Dedekind cuts of real numbers, one would obtain no additional numbers because the real numbers are Dedekind complete. Cauchy completeness Cauchy completeness is the statement that every Cauchy sequence of real numbers converges. The rational number lined Q is not Cauchy complete. An example is the following sequence of rational numbers. Here the nth term in the sequence is the nth decimal approximation for pi. Though this is a Cauchy sequence of rational numbers, it does not converge to any rational number. Cauchy completeness is related to the construction of the real numbers using Cauchy sequences. Essentially, this method defines a real number to be the limit of a Cauchy sequence of rational numbers. In mathematical analysis, Cauchy completeness can be generalized to a notion of completeness for any metric space. See complete metric space. For an ordered field, Cauchy completeness is weaker than the other forms of completeness on this page. But Cauchy completeness and the Archimedean property taken together are equivalent to the others. Nested intervals theorem The nested interval theorem is another form of completeness. Let n equals and be n be a sequence of closed intervals, and suppose that these intervals are nested in the sense that the nested interval theorem states that the intersection of all of the intervals in is non-empty. The rational number line does not satisfy the nested interval theorem. For example, the sequence is a nested sequence of closed intervals in the rational numbers whose intersection is empty. Monotone Convergence Theorem The Monotone Convergence Theorem states that every non-decreasing, bounded sequence of real numbers converges. This can be viewed as a special case of the least upper bound property, but it can also be used fairly directly to prove the Cauchy completeness of the real numbers. 
Bolzano-Weierstrass theorem The Bolzano-Weierstrass theorem states that every bounded sequence of real numbers has a convergent subsequence. Again, this theorem is equivalent to the other forms of completeness given above.